That's another great example, by the way, of what makes these games so charming is that it's a great mix of different gameplay mechanics, right? You have your exploration, you have your uh, your puzzle solving, and you have Hula, Go Hula Girl Stella. Yeah, yes. That would have been funnier if I could say her name. <laughs> Hula Girl the Ghoul is the <laughs> Hula Ghoul. <laughs> Oh my god! Hello my friends and welcome back to PlayStation Underground. On today's show we are playing Spyro Reignited Trilogy which is out on the PS4 September 21st. I am joined by some Toys for Bob folks. Senior producers Peter Kabak and Nick Livingston and art director Josh Nadelberg. Gentlemen, welcome to the program. Hello. Hey. Oh, hello. It is good to have all of you here. We are actually taking a look at Idle Springs which is a level in the second game of the trilogy. And Nick, uh, if I can start with you, this is kind of one of the first uh, deeper dives of uh, game two that we're seeing, correct? Yes, it is. Uh, one of the first levels we're showing off is uh, is Idle Springs. Oh, no! <laughs> so, yes, this I wanted to give Foreman Bob a chance to speak uh, and, not, <laughs> and not talk over him, but he... Uh, this level is all about uh, four men who have been wronged by idle monsters. Um, the big thing about Spyro 2, the big difference between Spyro 2 and Spyro 1 is whereas Spyro 1 was all about co collecting dragons and rescuing dragons, Spyro 2 introduced a bunch, this whole other world of NPCs um, and many games and challenges to to explore and do. And, I want to um, know where that hammer came from, by that, the way. That you know, he... <laughs> <laughs> the foreman, snuck that into his pocket, <laughs> you know, you never know. The foremen are mysterious, and they will not share that with you. <laughs> <laughs> Some secrets will go to the grave that's of the foreman. True. That's yep. true. Uh, we've, we've asked them. Uh, and uh, so Spyro 2 also introduced swimming. So in Spyro 1, you could not swim. In Spyro 2, you can, obviously, as Rustin, who's playing right now and killing it, is showing you. Um... And Spyro yeah. is able to swim safely as a dragon. This is good to know. He is. He is waterproof. He, is. Well, he learned a lot from the money first Money bags game. teaches him. <laughs> yeah. Spyro too, that's right, for a small fee. Um, we're locked in here with all our tools, and the giant idle heads won't let the workers in unless we can solve the three puzzles they bring. <laughs> okay, got it, bud. <laughs> the voices are so the fun. The voices yeah, so I good. Love for me, bud. If you have trouble, come back and talk to me. Okay, bud. Yeah. <laughs> do, hold on a second. I do, quick lore question here. Yeah. Do all the foremen in the universe have names that start with B? Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Yes! Sure. Oh, I love it. And for us, you know, we want to get this right. <laughs> so, um, uh, the most important so made, thing no. for all your work is to make sure all the foremen have B no, names. But, tr but truly, though, like this, this project has been a uh, uh, particularly... Uh, challenging and wonderful opportunity for us because there's fans care so much about every detail and we do too and we want to get it right so um, so all the characters have the same names <laughs> uh, and that's all we've done uh, <laughs> no, all the characters have the same names <laughs> all the, uh, the art has been uh, <laughs> lovingly recrafted <laughs> sorry <geez. laughs> um, you got this dude it's been lovingly recrafted um, all the levels uh, are so we actually built a tool for this game so that we could make sure that we were getting all of the gameplay exactly right. So we built this tool called Spyroscope, which allowed us to, because we didn't have access to the original assets, we, built, we had to build this tool internally that allowed us to extract all of the original mesh, original placements, and even the pathing of the characters so we could bring that into this um, modern recreation that we're doing now. So it's, um, it's, I remember when I first saw it at one of our engineers' desks, I was blown away and uh, it's it's been a huge undertaking for us to get this right but um, for us getting this exactly right for the fans this idol says he's hungry seriously. it won't be satisfied until he swallowed 10 fish <laughs> <laughs> Watch what kind of fish I, you know what, bud? I also have a sensitive stomach, and I, I, I understand. Sometimes ten fish, you have to make sure. Yeah. I love that it They're reminds all you properly. that the idol is very picky. Yes, I love the very idol. picky. Yeah, and this—that's uh, another thing—is just the amount of variety in these games is really bananas. Um, there are idol monsters. There are hockey players. There are—I mean, it is just. Those and no other examples. Oh, there. no, no, nothing <laughs> else. Just, just hockey yeah, players and idols. No, there are capybaras driving cars and boats. Josh, can you just list some <laughs> of the things in these games? Some of the <laughs> over 400 characters. Oh, because it is <laughs> amazing the amount of content that yeah. Josh specifically has led the art direction on. And Oh, my an God. But a, an amazing team of talented concept artists and modelers and animators. Like, I can't tell you how much effort went into to bringing this world back to life. Um, th like Nick was just saying, there's three games uh, with over 100 levels and 500 plus characters, <laughs> um, maybe 600, I haven't 
counted yeah. recently. Uh, but yeah, we, we we took the original characters from those games 20 years ago and and tried to um, do our best job of maintaining uh, the spirits of those characters, bringing as much uh, new energy to them as we could. Um, and the, the team really just stepped up. And I, yeah, I want to, I kind of want to overemphasize this. It's, you know, for our audience, it's not like you guys took the, you know, the Spyro games and just turned the dial up and you're like, I'm just going to turn up the visuals to 11 and it's going to look way better. <laughs> right. way, I mean, you're aware is, of where that dial exists, uh, please yeah, let us know. Oh, yeah, yeah, please. Oh we lost it. That's um, actually exactly <laughs> what we did. <laughs> but, but Josh, to, to, to the point though, is that, uh, you know, this is very much as we were talking about before, a craft for your studio. I mean, you guys had to go in there and by hand and very meticulously kind of go over everything. Everything. Every inch of the world, every character. Um, it, like Nick was saying with Spiroscope, we actually extracted the original level meshes so that we could take screenshots of important vistas and paint over them and try to find like the, the best way to enhance it and modernize it. Um, we did that with the environments, we did that with the characters, we did that with literally everything. The animations, we looked at what the original animation looks like and we, we riffed off of that. You know, like we were trying to be as um, reverential to the original stuff as we could possibly be and um, there were some cases where we took our liberties where we thought we could um, improve upon things uh, or, or make things more fun and playful because um, that's kind of what Toys for Bob is about is like finding great wacky things that get us psyched. Um, so for example, we just saw the, the idol who had a metal shield and um, these guys all have like marshmallows on sticks. So we turned his metal shield into the top of a, of a barbecue. Of um, course, because why wouldn't you? Because why wouldn't an yeah. idol who has a hot dog on a stick also <laughs> have a barbecue? Yeah, of course. Peter, maybe you can speak to this too, because you've been awfully quiet over I have there, been. sir. I just uh, chime in a little but, bit. That's but, all. But tell us a little bit. But I know that exploration is is key in in this game. I mean, is that something that you guys embraced during the development process? Yeah, I mean, that's part of the heart of what made the original games, especially like for me. I can speak clearly for me, but it's this world of awe and wonder, like you're a little kid out there saving all of the other dragons and helping all these worlds become like free. So making sure that all of the pieces were coming together, <laughs> together to give you the sense of wonder and awe as you're exploring and finding all these new places in this gigantic world was key. And now we're going to see another little puzzle action here. Yeah, another little puzzle. Oh, bud. Can we install <laughs> this giant um, glowing stone dance floor into my home? <laughs> yes. That would be really nice to have. I feel it, it would really bring the room together, I think. <laughs> I like that it also gives you difficulty level for the challenges. It does, it? yeah. That is in parity with the original games. Um, You're like, and we chose those at random. There's no rhyme or reason <laughs> to right. the difficulty settings. That's all. right. <laughs> we feel it out. We just, we just feel it out. Uh, but yeah, so this game, I mean, just the amount of puzzles to solve and uh, unique challenges. I mean, so all the levels have these uh, like crazy uh, unique challenges. And um, the original game. Uh, it was all about rescuing dragons. This is all about challenges. And the amount of NPCs, too. There were so many different... I mean, we were talking about capybaras, foremen. Ice monsters. <laughs> ice monsters. <laughs> yeah. Spoilers. Now I know there's ice monsters. There are ice Thanks, monsters. Guys. I'm sorry. <laughs> ice builders. I'm sorry. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, and the ice monsters are ghosts the entire time. So I'm oh. sorry to spoil that for you as well. Wow. Um, I would have never known. No. Yeah, it's just it's it's gorgeous, and it, it you know it's just really cool to see something that has such a history and such a huge fandom uh, kind of get the loving treatment from your studio that it deserves. So yeah, and thanks. we're we're just you know three dudes here, and <laughs> and <laughs> but we are you know representing a huge group of incredibly talented people who work so hard on this and Super really really passionate good. about this. Um, yeah. It's really important to us that we get this right. And, um, so you, that's and why you that have everyone's names are the same. Mm -hmm. that's exactly. That was the number one thing on the list. <laughs> yes, yes. You didn't change the <laughs> Spyro's name to, to Frank. That's right. Yeah, <laughs> Frank the Dragon. You know, <laughs> is not. Yeah, no. We, we doesn't really, have the same ring to it. It doesn't. It doesn't. It was truly a labor of love. Like everyone was just so excited when we found out we had the opportunity to make this game and. Um, <laughs> The Sucker. hammer. <laughs> this still gets me. We've, I've seen it's this already, hammer. and yeah. it's so it's good. And he's just bashing, just bashing his head with it. Mm -hmm. I have to say, to Peter's point earlier about going through this world and having that sense of awe, and where, like moments like that are everywhere in this game. Like every level has that level of surprising thing that will make you laugh. And I and you're not talking. You're not just talking about when you say this game. You're yeah. not just talking about Spyro Two. I mean, you're talking about the whole the trilogy. entire reignited Spyro trilogy. Three, Spyro One. All of them. They're uh, the amount of work. This is a handcrafted effort, and 
and our team really wanted. Would you say it's an artisanal effort? I would say it's artisanal. (laughs) Uh, It is free range as well. Uh, (laughs) Um, Yeah, this is... I'm I'm happy to announce here on PlayStation Underground that Spyro Reignited Trilogy is organic right, right, and uh, right. farm to fork yeah, this uh, is robotic video farm gaming. to table <laughs> <Really compostable. laughs> all right we're uh, we're nearing the yeah. end of the demo too um, we have yeah, a little dancing section oh yeah this is <laughs> the best part <laughs> we you were kidding about your dance floor yeah. it's all been leading up to this <laughs> <laughs> You got a little platforming action in there, though. That's another yeah. That's another great example, by the way, of what makes these games so charming, is that it's a great mix of different gameplay mechanics, mm-hmm. right? You mm-hmm. have your exploration, you have your uh, your puzzle solving, and no, you have Hula, Go- Hula Girl Stella. No, that would have yes. been funnier if I could say her name. <laughs> Hula Girl Hula Ghoul is the Hula Ghoul. Hula Ghoul. Yeah. No, seriously, like this. Ga- I mean, the games are all about exploration and discovery and puzzle solving and for us when remastering this you know we wanted this the reignited trilogy to be to honor the the original game so from yeah. the gameplay perspective nice. we wanted to keep it keep it the same because the game's already fun people love these games so we wanted to find ways to modernize and improve things where we could for example we now have camera control on the right stick and we just we made some choices to uh to honor the originals but they're amazing games already um i just cut hula girl stella off and no no that. that's okay because Sorry. now we can celebrate with a dance routine. Oh, yeah. Um, oh, yeah. Ladies and gentlemen, <laughs> this has been an amazing look, <laughs> amazing look at Spyro Reignited. Tr- <laughs> Spyro Reignited Trilogy is out September 21st on PS4. Peter, Nick, and Josh, thank you, gentlemen, all so much for uh, joining me on the program. And until next time, this has been PlayStation Underground. We'll see you soon.